Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business and personal success strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help people discover your genius, the combination of your expertise and life experience, which actually is your purpose, and build a profit generating business based on you, your success goals, and achieving your greatest success in your life. So today I wanted to talk about a subject that I think that almost everybody on the planet, or I'm just going to say everybody on the planet, suffers from. And that subject is overthinking. So, you know, this is, I'm going to preface this by saying that this particular live stream, and really in actuality all my live streams, are for more intelligent people. Hi, Kim. They're for more intelligent people who... Um, recognize that they're here to do something greater and you may have some life experience behind you and have probably overcome some uh, great challenges. So I want to preface that because we're going to talk about some higher level things today and if you're just looking for you know a GTD or your to-do list or you know some tomato timer uh, to stop and combat this, this is not the live stream for you. So if you want to hop off and find, you know, the GTD, I'm sure that that exists. But this is for people, my people, that know that, um, you know, you're, you're experienced and you, and you are intelligent and you want to take that extra step to, uh, to really understand what's going on, getting to the root of things. You know, you can't just fix a surface level and put a timer on it. You actually have to get to the root. So, you know, I want to talk about why overthinking in more intelligent people happens. So it may be different for, um, for other people who just get caught up in, you know, shiny object syndrome and distraction. You know, everybody gets caught up in that. But for people with, you know, some sort of life experience, um, some sort of expertise and like talent, in actuality, uh, the overthinking happens because you have so much inside of you. So it, it's not that, you know, you're thinking, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. It's that you have so much inside of you that you can't actually choose which one to put at the top. You know, it's more difficult to make priorities. And so you get caught up trying to organize those thoughts. And then, you know, because of our human brain, then you break, and because you have higher standards, so probably in your life you've achieved some things, uh, then you start judging yourself based on those high standards. And especially, you know, as an entrepreneur, you're doing things that are new to you. And so, you know, you still hold yourself to that high standard, yet, you know, doing anything for the first time is, you know, uh, kind of awkward. You have to learn things. You have to uh, admit that you don't know it all. And, you know, to the more intelligent people with the expertise, that's kind of a difficult thing. So now that you know what really is, is going on, why you're having all these things, overthinking is not such a bad thing. It's just that now we need to find ways to combat that. So, you know, the first thing I want to help you understand is really uh, why all those, you do have all those genius thoughts and all those different things that are inside of you and why they get jumbled up. So um, this is actually uh, research backed. Um, I don't know if you've heard of Jay Papasan. He actually wrote a book about it. It's called The One Thing. But it come, come to find out that the reason why um, people in general get caught up in, um, in confusion and not knowing how to prioritize, not knowing how to do things, is not that you have this laundry list of to-dos to, to do. It's actually that your brain, your subconscious, recognizes that um, the things on your to-do list are not actually your highest value. And so uh, this is kind of a higher level concept. That's why I wanted the, you know, the not so high level people to hop off because this is really about understanding that um, our subconscious minds 
um, you know, our, our lives, our, our, our brains are, we're he, you know, our beings are here for a, a higher, higher, um, higher meaning. And when we set out and start to just do things like, you know, the, the to-do list and I got to do this and, oh my God, I got to learn this. Then you, then suddenly now you have to focus on those things that your brain recognizes are lower value things. And if you're not addressing the higher value thing, it just like sits there. And it's, it's kind of like the, um, the monkey on your back, the thing that keeps raising its hand and saying, look at me, look at me, you know, pay attention to me. Um, you may not actively think that every day, but in actuality, that's what's going on inside of you. And so, you know, um, they did research on this that, you know, when, when you, when you really break it down, that it's not that, um, it's not that you have, uh, all those to do's to do. It's that if you're not addressing that, I, I'll, I, I call it your genius, but it's actually your purpose. If you aren't actually addressing that, it just, um, it clogs your brain. So what ends up happening is that now you have a clog inside your head and so all those ideas swim in your head all those things that you need to do are like swimming in circles because you have a clog so once you really discover what your you know I call genius your purpose is uh, you know it's the combination of your expertise and your life experience when you figure out how you use that to uh, produce value for other people how you really help other people, then everything can spill out. Then, you know, then it's about your to-do list. And then it's about organizing those things. And it's about the tactical things. But until you do that, it, it's just going to keep, like, running in circles. So, um, you know, how I know this is true is, you know, hey, it works on me. I am an introvert. Like, not the modern kind of introvert who... Um, you know, gets tired after being around people. Uh, no, I'm actually the old fashioned kind of introvert, the original definition of an introvert, which is shy. I spend much of my time alone. I don't want to be around other people and I rarely want to speak. <laughs> I know that seems kind of weird, but, uh, I know why I'm here. My, I know my genius and, uh, and, and it gets me, um, up every day despite a severe health condition and, uh, you know, in my complicated brain, I can overcome it because I know my deeper meaning. And that gets me out of bed. It gets me out of overthinking. And it makes me, um, despite my introversion, be okay on video because I have a message I need to get out. So, you know, if you're an introvert or if you have those issues, when you know what your genius purpose is, in the right way, you know, the things that excite you inside, it just comes out. It's just natural. Um, okay, so uh, second of all, uh, you have high standards, like I said before. So, you know, those standards should remain high. Even as you're learning and everything, you know, you have high standards, you have to meet those standards. So, you know, everyone talks about speed of implementation and things like that. You know, there's a natural order to planning uh, that can organize your brain. So, you know, I actually created a tutorial and a free planner. If you want to download that at totalgenius.net backslash science dash success, you can find it at the Genius Library on my website, totalgenius.net, um, that gives you a planner that helps you un just really discover who you are, your identity, and your, um, your purpose, uh, it, it's a very, um, you know, it's a simplified version. So uh, if you can't figure it out, that's okay because it, it's probably, then your purpose is probably deeper than that. But this will help you understand the basics about planning your goals and your to-do list and your daily things that you have to do around that higher purpose so that you can combat overthinking. So I'm going to teach you some things that, again, you know, 
research-backed, scientifically proven to help you immediately stop overthinking and prevent it from happening um, so often. So overthinking, you know, you're intelligent, you have a lot of thoughts, it's going to happen. But these will give you some tools that you can uh, make it happen less and if you're having it, just end it like immediately rather than sitting in distraction because what ends up happening then is that most people go on Facebook and you end up losing your self-esteem. You know, uh, none of that should be happening for the higher level people. So the first thing, um, you know, some of you may have heard this if you've, if you've ever listened to me speak before, but, you know, I live, breathe, I will scream from the mountaintops, active focus meditation. So, you know, Tony Robbins doesn't even meditate. He says he can't sit still and doesn't understand, you know, doesn't want to sit and sit at the back of his eyelids and think about nothing. I feel the exact same way. I've never, you know, I've tried, uh, I've tried it. And I think if it works for you, you know, that's great. But active focus meditation, even if you meditate, is something different. So this is about aligning your success goals, your highest value, your identity with your biological uh, person. So you actually, um, uh, so what active focus meditation is, is you for at least 10 to 20 minutes a day, you go outside and I'm going to say, you know, I used to say just do anything, but you know, and uh, you know, one of my BBFs today, she jumped on a trampoline. That's great. But I, I, I believe it must be like some sort of consistent movement that you do by yourself so, you know, if you need help and you need to walk with your partner, that's great. But eventually, I'd like for you to do it by yourself. Uh, walk or run quickly so that you're breathing heavy for at least 10 to 20 minutes. I do mine for about 45 minutes to an hour with my dog, Harlow. And you're listening to your theme song or theme playlist, the one that really gets you not just energized, but really focused around the deeper meaning inside of you. You know, whatever playlist that is, mine changes. But, you know, right now I have like Lady Gaga, Born This Way. Um, you know, I, I have, uh, if you, I'll share it in my group if, if you guys want to know my playlist. But, you know, the things that gets you thinking, maybe emotional, like, I got to do this. You know, some people pick like Fight Song by Rachel Platten, you know. The things that make you so just like, I got to go do this. I have to speak it. Um, those things. So you want to be breathing heavy, you know, doing your continual movement while you're listening to that. So that engages your brain, the audio part of it. And then, you know, your endorphins. You're producing endorphins because you're exercising. That actually creates new neural pathways in your brain around your success goals. So talk about bulletproofing your confidence. You actually then, so I, re I recommend you do this within an hour of waking up. Try not to speak to anyone before you go outside and do this. Don't, definitely do not check Facebook, do not get online, do not check your email. The reason why you want to do that is that you want to start your day, number one, doing something good for yourself. So at the end of your day, you know, if, if nothing else went right, you're like, I exercised. I did my active focus meditation. I, I, I did something good for myself. You know, at, at the very least, that's what that will do. Number two, you're building new neural pathways. You're like, it's like a steel cable. So it starts maybe off as a string around your success goals, but eventually you keep doing it over and over and over again. So this has to be a daily activity. Do it at the same time every day. Don't drop off a day because don't take weekends off. Because you want to make it into an unconscious habit. That means that the day that you don't do it, you're going to be like, did I forget something? Like, what just happened? Because it becomes such a part of you. That's how you make it from a string to like a cable around your confidence and your success goals. You know, I teach this and some people say, you know, oh, I got, you know, I really love it when I do it, you know, but then they don't do it every day. And, uh, or some people just, you know, write it off. They, they think, oh no, I want to focus on, you know, following somebody else. That's not it either. Cause that's not going to bring you to your success. So, you know, the number one thing that, um, separates people that are successful 
from those that are not is confidence. That beating yourself up in your head, overthinking, and then not doing the things that you need to do, and maybe you're like half-assed doing it because you're, you know, you're lacking the confidence, that is exactly the opposite of what you need to do to achieve your success. So, you know, you really have to, um, you have to do it. That's all I can say is that it will, it will change your life. Maybe not the first time you do it, but do it for two weeks, and I guarantee you, you will start to feel changes inside of you. So then number two is, and you know, I must say this many, many times a day, but I really mean it, is that you need to stop wanting what other people have. Stop following other people's successes. Stop thinking, I wish I could make as much money as her, or I'm going to do exactly what she did, or you know, I'm going to do everything she taught because she's teaching me you know, exactly her formula to do this. If they're not teaching you your formula, like how you're going to achieve success, and they're just teaching you like tactical things, um, what that is doing is it's actually detracting from your value. It's detracting from the thing I just talked about as number one, your purpose. You, your success, how you reach it, the tools that you, you need, the tactics, all of those things are unique to you. Not one formula is going to work for everybody. And when you go and you try to copy someone else, and I don't mean like, you know, steal their ideas, but you know, you're trying to um, learn what they're teaching. What ends up happening is that um, if they're teaching you their method of success, uh, not yours, then you actually are, uh, are, are clogging your brain, causing the extra clog, which will cause you to overthink. You're not focusing on the one thing, you know, the, the one that I, I just talked about, the one that Jay Papasan talks about, the one thing, you know, your purpose, and, all, you know, the whole thing starts over again. It's like this endless cycle. And so, you know, falling into com the comparison game and doing all that, you know, it's, it's our human brains that are designed to, um, to look for distraction when we don't know what that highest purpose is and when we don't know how to shut out um, that noise. And what ends up happening is if, if you, I call it the, you know, the entrepreneurial flu. I wrote a whole um, article about it. That if you get this entrepreneurial flu, you, know, you just get like a bug, like a, 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 you know, when you get the sniffles, you just start to go, oh, I'm starting to get a cold. Once you get it, it's like, boom, it like sucks you in. And then suddenly you're like, why do you have a business? I'm, you know, I'm just not good enough. Why are they doing this? And it's not your fault. But that's just the way the human brain is designed. And that's where, you know, your high standards actually get in the way because you're used to not, um, you're used to achieving success. And so then when you start judging yourself and compare yourself to others, um, you know, it's just like this endless cycle. And, you know, it's okay because, you know, it's happened to me and you can overcome it, number one, by doing active focus meditation, number two, and I, I don't know how, you know, how you need to do this for yourself, but you need to stop following the successes of other people. Stop wanting what they have. Stop saying, you know, I'm going to make $100,000 tomorrow just like they did by doing this formula because that's not it either. You know, I rarely talk about, uh, you know, how much money I made because uh, my, I'm not you. And in actuality, you know, I have my own challenges. I have a, a, a health condition that prevents me from, you know, doing, doing a lot of work sometimes. But I'm able to produce uh, my success. And quite honestly, you know, the, when I fell and I got the Facebook flu, I call it entrepreneurial Facebook flu, I, that really took, it, it took me down, quite honestly. But when I was able to back away and rediscover, um, you know, my purpose, 
and really gain clarity around it. And, and, and how I did that was I really uh, understood what was causing it, which is everything I'm teaching you right now. And that uh, when you overcome it and you really discover that true, unique uh, positioning inside of your head, nothing can stop you. That is the energy of success. That's how you uh, have gained clarity and are able to stop overthinking, stop judging yourself. Because now you just have a message that you want to So I did another video about... Um, you know, some other things that you can do, uh, FOMO, fear of missing out, that you, you, don't, uh, you don't fall victim to that because when, when you start thinking that you're missing out on some great thing on Facebook or, you know, whatever it is that you're missing out on, you need to remind yourself that you're missing out actually on your own success. If you don't know your own path, um, the only thing you're missing out on is developing your own success. Uh, number two, you know, NATO, uh, no attachment to the outcome. You, when you know your genius, you're just so wrapped up in what you're doing that the outcomes come. That's what I call inevitable success. In fact, I just wrote an article about it today. You can find that at totalgenius.net backslash uh, inevitable uh, dash success. I'll share it in my group later. You know, there's a way to achieve inevitable success. When you set up the conditions that you need in order to do things and then you understand that you can focus on this higher purpose instead of, you know, trying to overlearn all these other things, amazing things happen. So, in fact, you know, and this is not about following me. This is about developing you. I designed an entire uh, training and uh, seven day challenge, some free audio. Uh, there's a whole brain guide in there, how the brain works on uh, how to get you and your business positioned to sell. So, you know, I'm a very not so woo woo person, but it, as it turns out, I guess I kind of am. This goes inside. So we're, we're going to start at, um, from the inside of you and then develop it from the outside. So you have to break it down before you build it up. So yes, there are some tactical things in there, but first we need to break it down. So I want to I want to mention that because I you know as I said in the beginning, this is not for people that just want you know the GTD or you know the quick method to five hundred million dollars. Um, that's not what this is. This is about understanding your understanding your purpose and then achieving true success, which is not only in your business, not only in your bank account but it's also in your head so that your business supports you, not just financially, but emotionally and mentally. So, you know, the whole reason and, you know, my, my purpose is I understand how the brain thinks. You know, I spent my life judging myself and overthinking and thinking I'm not good enough. And, you know, with my business, um, you know, my, my program, Discover Your Genius, where I help you build a profit generated business. You know, when I launched it, it was, uh, I think it was like five sessions, six sessions. They were, and they were three hour sessions. You know, they're like long sessions. And, you know, I had a client, she made like $20,000 in two months. This is not typical. Okay, so she, she like rocked it. She went from zero to like really, she, she busted butt. We were talking, you know, in the middle of the night. Um, and she really busted butt. And then she went away uh, you know, had to, had to do some family things. And then when she came back, uh, we were already done working together and she fell into Facebook and I, and I witnessed, um, spending lots of money, you know, doing what I see other entrepreneurs doing is spending lots of money, being lost and forgetting all those other things. And so, you know, today, now, Discover Your Genius is 12 sessions. I actually redesigned it, and I designed it so that you are positioned to sell. Because what I'm realizing is that, you know, and I've always 
daunt this is that it's not the tactics and the things, and it's not even just discovering your highest purpose. It's about setting up the system so that you are able to be positioned to sell and your business does the selling for you so that you don't get fall into the whole thing that everyone's teaching, that you fall into Facebook groups and you have to like, you know, go and hang out and find your next client. No, there's actually two uh, trainings that we, we, we would develop together to, um, to make them evergreen. And in fact, I'm collaborating with um, an amazing Facebook ad strategist that then you get to work with to design a Facebook ad campaign. And, you know, part of the, the, um, the amount that you pay is, goes into your Facebook ad budget. So then you have a system that's doing the client attraction for you because now you have a business that's set it the right way. You're attracting clients based on your highest value. And then you can focus on teaching and helping people and doing that for your marketing so that you're not constantly trying to, you know, I don't know, do, do what everyone else is, is, is teaching. It's not, it's, not how, um, it's not how business is done. So there's a new, um, this, this whole online entrepreneur thing, it, it's being taught by people that learned it from other people who learned it from other people that learned it from other people who aren't even understanding business. You know, I've been doing business, you know, I'm 48, so I, I calculated it out. I used to say 25, but I think I've been doing it for like 28 years. Foundational business has never changed. It truly, you know, business is business. It, it involves, like I said the other day, two people, both with emotions, you know, uh, the guy that wears the suit, Donald Trump or you, whoever it is, um, goes home and takes off his pants every night because he's so uncomfortable. <laughs> he's human. He has a family. He laughs. You know, um, the woman that looks all polished, she takes off her makeup and goes, oh my God, I have a zit. We're all human. So, you know, trying to get clients, you're trying to help people understand and you know, I, I kind of thought this morning, I haven't really thought this through, but I think it's true, is that being who you are helps other people be okay with being, with feeling awkward. There, I said it. Like, you know, when, when your business is positioned the right way and you can just show up as being you, there's people out there that relate to you, so you don't actually have to be perfect, but if you're perfect, then you can be perfect. But whatever is so you... That helps somebody accept themselves and then they can actually hear you, whatever it is that you're teaching and pay, they pay, get paid and they pay you for. So, you know, in general, this is just about stopping beating yourself up because, you know, in, in fact, and I mean, I'm just going to say this because um, this is what drives me every day is that, you know, you can't see this. And so this is like surface level stuff. So you know, um, I really want to help you uh, make your, create your business success. So before I, I even mention this part, you know, sign up for the free training. It's at um, uh, positioned.totalgenius.net. Um, it's all over my page. You know, if you want to go to my page, it's in my group. Um, so, you know, the real reason why uh, my purpose is and, and why I wanted to do this particular live stream and why I want to stop people from overthinking and beating yourself up is that, you know, I call it the autoimmunity of um, entrepreneurialism. Is that what everyone else is teaching, you know, follow me, do this, do that, you know, um, you know, talking, screaming F words at people, making them not feel good about themselves, uh, it causes like all this like overthinking and, and judging yourself. And especially, you know, people with the higher standards and more intelligent people. So you end up like beating yourself up in your head. Well, you know, an autoimmunity, like health related, is actually your body beating itself up inside. It's actually rejecting itself. Like things that are normally seen as healthy. Autoimmune disorders are, um, you know, things that cause like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Those things, uh, it, it causes your normal cells to actually like think that they're bad and then it, it like fights them. I, I see entrepreneurship, you know, the way it's being taught, kind of like that. Like, 
it's like you're, you go out and you try to be you, and then everyone's, you know, making you, they're not on purpose, they're not making you feel like this, but the way that, you know, it's designed, you end up then beating yourself up inside. And the, you know, what I, I feel, I, I don't know, research, I don't know, research, I'm sure research, research, there's not been research on this yet, but all that negative thought, actually there is research on this, but negative thought causes your cells to express itself in um, negative ways which actually causes autoimmune disorder. So if you see like this sudden outbreak in you know, people getting Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and all of that, a lot of that is not only nutrition, it's actually caused by your mind. So you know, uh, my friend Angela Anderson, you know, people that do Psyche, people that follow Bruce Lipton, you know, all, the biology belief, like all those things, those are research back. Scientists have shown that your mind contributes to the health of your body. So, you know, that's a way more than you need to know today for overthinking, but um, it's always in the back of my mind, and it hurts me at a deep level because I suffer every day because of my autoimmune disorder, and while I'm working, you know, every day to save my own life, I want to stop, um, you know, it from happening to you guys because you're really, um, you know, Marion Williamson says, if a miracle isn't happening, something's gone wrong. Um, and Tony Robbins says, life happens for you. Both those things are true. And so you just have to um, let it happen to, you know, for you. It's happening for you. So, you know, the things that I'm teaching will help you combat them. But what it really requires is your commitment, not to me, but to yourself. And that will produce the success that um, that you want, whatever your definition of success is. So in fact, that's me I post tonight in my group, is that I want you to define what success is to you. It's not a number. Trust me, you know, you can have so much money, but if you get like a health condition or something bad happens, you know, a parent dies, no amount of money will take that away. So, you know, I want you to really think about what, how do you define success? And then understand what, you know, look inside of you and, and why are you here? Who are you and why are you here? I ask that question a lot. And when you can come up with an answer that makes you realize that, you know, you're here for a reason, then overcoming those, you know, overthinking and all of that, when that happens, you'll start to realize why it's happening and you'll be able to overcome it faster. Okay, so that's it. I have a client tonight, late night client. You know, that's what happens when you work with people across the world. I'm starting to realize that I really like my late night clients. I, like, I think last time we ended at near midnight. But um, I actually, you know, I love working with people everywhere. And whether you're in Los Angeles or around the world, you know, I will jump through hoops to help people. The people, because I know, I don't help everybody. A lot of people think I'm bitchy. I don't know. But, um, you know, the people that I do help, I, I really value. And, um, you know, hey, who needs, uh, you know, who's going to miss a couple hours of sleep a night, right? Because I got active focus meditation tomorrow, and you better also. So join uh, the, the training and take the seven-day challenge. I highly encourage you to take the challenge because that is, a, um, that is really going to help you understand all the things that I talked about today. That's it. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business personal success strategist at totalgenius.net. Please share this with anyone. You know, um, I think there's, there's a lot of other intelligent entrepreneurs who are purpose-driven who need to hear this message. That's it. Thanks, everyone. Bye.